They got me on milk and alcohol. Okay, let's have a look in these bags. Right, yo. So, this is a bit of a fun video. We've got milk and we've got alcohol in it. Oh dear, so I'm going to be doing a bit of milking in a minute and we're going to be doing a bit of sampling of some gin. How about that? How about this? Show me your milk and alcohol. Okay, okay, so that's in the milking parlor in a bit, but we're going to, I just thought I'd tell you what this is about. So this isn't a, a kind of straightforward product placement. I'm not trying to promote something that I'm getting paid to promote. I'm just trying to help a guy out really. Uh, and I'll give you a story about this. Okay, so a friend of mine texted me and said, would you be interested in putting a video about my mate's gin on, on your channel? Uh, and I went, mm, okay, tell me more about it. I mean, <laughs> a little bit of alcohol doesn't do any harm, does it? Um, and he goes, my mate has uh, started making his own gin. And I thought, right, okay, so this is going to be some bloke who's knocking it out in his garage and has got a... A bottle. He goes, no, 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 he's making it properly in a distillery down in Chu Magna, in Chu, uh, Chu Valley. Sorry, the Chu Valley, let's get this right. Because it's called Chu Valley Gin, Chu Valley Distillery. In fact, let me hold the, the bag up. Looks cool. We'll get to the bottles in a minute. So, this chap sent me two bottles of gin, right? And I said, well, well before I arrived, I thought, mm, okay, we're sending these bottles of gin. Anyway, these bad boys are right. They are beauties. Look at this. I expected some little naff bottles of some bloke homemade in, in this thing. Anyway, the story goes, right? Look at these. Look at those. They've got a, they've got a duck in the bottom of there. Can you see through that? And there's another one there. Look at that one. So the story is, right? So this bloke, his dad's got a restaurant. I spoke to him. His name's Joe. His dad's got a restaurant. He started trying to make some gin. I think he started on a bit of a moonshine distillery thing. Anyway, he launched it, got it right, launched it March. March this year. Well, we all know what a pants time of year that is to start producing your own stuff to flog. So, anyway, I thought, do you know what? It's a bit rubbish. Let's give this guy a chance. I'll tell you about this gin. I'm going to sample it in the milking parlour. He's, he's got a website. You can buy this stuff. This, this one here... 43% alcohol, Ooh, milking's going to go well. This one here, 59% alcohol. Um, so if you go on his website, cvdistillery.co.uk, you can read more about it. But basically, I am hoping I'm going to go and visit him next year. I'm going to get down to his distillery in the summertime, I think, when all this COVID nonsense is out the way. We're going to have a little go, because you know I always visit, I love visiting little producers. You've probably seen the videos I've done where I've gone to, um, I went to Chew Moose Ice Cream, which is near him actually. I also went to the Isle of Wight Cheese Company. I've done a butcher in the Bath. And, and I kind of think, um, you know, if I can get down to his distillery and, and have a go at seeing how he makes this stuff, because who knows, I don't know how you make gin. I think it involves a bit of copper and uh, piping and things like that. So... We can go and have a look at that and help this guy out. We can help this guy out. He's a small independent producer, so he's not flipping Gordon's gin that doesn't need my help. He's a little guy having a go. He's still got a job at aerospace. He works full-time at aerospace. He's trying to do this to build this up. So, um, and you know what aerospace is like. That's dodgy as well, isn't it? So have a look on the website for him. We're going to have a... I'm going to go milking now. We're going to have gin and milking. Got me on milk and alcohol. <laughs> Dr. Feelgood, that is, if you want to look that up on YouTube. Right, let's crack on with the milking. I'm going to try both of these gins while I'm milking the cows. What could possibly go wrong? Got me on milk and alcohol. Come on, Come on. Come on, Ed. Come on, Come on, Ed. Come on, Come on, Ed. Come on. Come on. Let's go. I got my gin. I'm going to go milking. Let's crack on.
Right, first drop of gin with the milk in. This should make the milk in fly. Don't operate uh, machinery with alcohol, but I think I'll be okay in the milking parlor. Right, let's just have a glass of this and see how we go. This is the handcrafted dry London, London dry gin. Let's have a look. Oh, it's got a proper cork in it, I think. Ooh. Smells nice. Got me on milk and alcohol. Ooh. Mmm. Ooh. Taste it. As Harry would say. Ooh. Oh, that warms the cockles of your heart. Right. Let's crack on with the milk in. Oh, this is clever. I just noticed that if you hold the bottle up to the light, so you can see that, you can catch, I'm not sure this is swan or a goose. I'll have to find out when we visit the brewery, the brewery, distillery next summer, I'll find out more about this. Got me on milk and alcohol. I'm just gonna take the units off and we'll crack on. They got me on milk and alcohol. They got me on milk and alcohol. More liquor. I don't know the lyrics. I make them up as go along. Look them up on YouTube. Doctor Feel Good got me on milk and alcohol. You got me on milk and alcohol. Got me on milk and alcohol. Got me on milk and. Alcohol! Seriously, yeah, that's a nice drop of uh, gin, that is. Ooh, just really warm me. So, I've tried the uh, the London Dry Gin. Now, this is this is the stuff. Navy strength. Woohoo! Those Navy boys, I'm gonna just have a little bit, aren't they? I'm gonna uh, have a little glass of milk in a minute, and then I'm gonna power on through this. I'm sure a glass of this will help speed things up a little bit. Let's have a look. Got me on milk and alcohol. Got me on milk and alcohol. Time for a glass of milk. They got me on milk and alcohol. Mmm. This is turning out to be a good afternoon. Right. Get more one more uh, cow milk and then I'm gonna try the navy strength. This is cracking, I'm loving this. Sorry about the singing. Got me on milk and two valley gin. 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 So we are going on to the navy gin. I think they do another one, an apple gin or something. I'll have to look on their website. Right. Let's try the navy. This is this is. I'm going to take it steady after this. I'm not going to have too much of this. 
55%. Woohoo, 55%. Right, let's get on that. Ready? Cracking on with Chew Valley, 55%. Woo! Put that down a minute. You know, I nearly broke one of these bottles earlier, actually. I put the bag down, it slipped off the bale, smacked onto a stone, and there was this massive clunk. And uh, I think it's that one. It might be the other bottle. There's a um, good job they're robust bottles. Let's have a look. Let's see if I can find. Where is it? Can't see it now, but there was a definite, almost like a chip out of the bottle. And I thought, oh Christ, I've broken a, a bottle. But luckily, not. Right, so anyway. That's the, uh, let's, let's have a snifter of the, the Navy gin. Ooh. Gone right up my nose. Ooh. That's gone right up my nose. I think I'm good. the camera. Flipping out. Navy gin makes me sneeze. Oh, that's aromatic. <laughs> right. Ah. Sorry, I think I sneezed on the lens. Did I? Is that better? There you go. Right. I'm going to crack on with this. We'll have a little look at the end. i got a load of cows to milk now. And uh, this will help it go along. Got my milk and alcohol. Got me on milk and alcohol. Not much milk there. Bit of alcohol. Got me on milk and alcohol. I am a wedding. Wed 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 I, <laughs> I am available for weddings. Got me on milk and alcohol. Right. Enough of this. Let's crack on. See you in a bit. See if I can speed the milking up a bit because I've got a lot of do to do now because I've um, delayed a little bit. All right, see you in a minute.
10 left. Last car. So there we have it. I've done my milking. I've had a few glasses of gin and we've had a bit of a laugh. I hope that was okay. Uh, so really, okay, that was a shameless plug, plug for Chew Valley Distillery, the Chew Valley Gin Company. Uh, but I think in this time of lockdown, do you know what? We've got to support these little local guys, these little local businesses. We've got Christmas coming. Amazon and Tesco's and all those lights do not need our money. Let's face it, they're going to be around for a long time. Little companies like Chew Valley Gin, they're, they're going to struggle to keep pay for their overheads, their business rates and everything, what, you know, whatever. So, my message out of this video really to you guys and everyone watching in this, if you like gin, how about going on to, to the uh, Chew Valley Distillery website and ordering a bottle of gin for Christmas, for Granny or forever. It's nice stuff and I'm not uh, making that up, I did enjoy drinking it. But if you don't like gin, also consider looking at the local guys in your area, the local, the local shops, you know, the, the little stores, or supporting some sort of little local craftsman or a little local business. Because realistically, these are the guys that need our money. I said the big companies will be all right. Amazon are going to be fine. Don't worry about them. Let's support these little companies. I'm going to finish, I'm a little company. I'm a little dairy farmer. Look at me. And to be honest, I know exactly what these little... That's why I actually like visiting all these little companies. As you know, I, like I said, I've been to the Isle of Wight uh, cheese company and stuff like that. Uh, I like companies like this uh, Chew Valley Gin Company because they are the little guy having a go, much like our business. I totally understand what it's like to have these bills coming in. There is no you, the buck stops at me, the buck stops at the little guy who is selling that product. So let's make this Christmas local. Let's support a local company or a, a small company, it doesn't have to be local, let's just support the small guys. Anyway, I'm hoping next summer I'll be down in Somerset, I'll be visiting Chew Valley Gin and we'll have a look at how they actually make that stuff, which is always good. I'm a very nosy guy, I do like to see how things are made and I have no idea how you make gin. Anyway, crack on everyone. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to finish off brushing out this muck here. Uh, I've got a bit of poo to push. Alright, cheers guys.